cooking with Andre. Welcome back, Cardinal Crew. You are cooking with Andre again. We are out here in Magnolia Green at the Herring Construction Model. We are in this beautiful gourmet kitchen. I'm going to fix something special for you guys today. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so everybody's kind of stuck in their home and wanting to cook a beautiful romantic meal for your loved one. So what we're going to fix today is going to be shrimp and grits. I love shrimp and grits. Uh, most people that I talk to do. So I'm going to put my own little spin on it and Hope you like what you see. We do have a special guest with us today, which is Caitlin Beach. She's going to kind of demonstrate this beautiful home that we have while I'm preparing the meal. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna do right now, which is kind of a special ingredient, rather than using water for your grits, you wanna actually use chicken broth. It's just gonna give you that pop. So let's go ahead and get these in. You wanna get the water or the broth nice and hot and just stir them in lightly. You don't wanna dump it all in at one time. Keep giving it a good stir so you get a nice simmer. And please keep your eyes on your grits because you don't want to burn them. Oh, I can smell it already. So we've got our grits going. Let's just give it a second there. Now we're going to get started on our shrimp. Put some olive oil in your pan. Get that nice and hot. And what I've got here on the side, and this is kind of my little specialty. So I chopped up some garlic and I chopped up some ginger. That's just gonna give it a great flavor and pop. Plus it's gonna make it look beautiful as well. So again, don't forget your grits over here. Just keep stirring. Caitlin, could you uh, look in the fridge and bring me that delicious little something in there? Absolutely. So for the ladies today, I have chocolate covered strawberries. So this will be our little dessert paired with their two delicious wines. So I picked um, a tropical mango just to give you a nice um, floral feel and also something that I just picked up new, which is a blueberry. So this should be delicious. Keep your eye on your grits. If you wouldn't mind just telling these beautiful folks about this lovely home. Sure. So we're in the herring model, as Andre mentioned, and one of the things that I personally love about this house is there are so many features just here in the kitchen alone. We obviously have a beautiful open concept. One really cool thing that I love that the design team did was they brought the cabinets all the way up to the ceiling, which is really nice because there's 10 foot ceilings in this house. We've got a beautiful style stone quartz. I wish you could see it up close. It's got really nice light beaming into it. So it gives a little bit of a pop, but not too much. Another cool thing I like is they have used a Blanco apron sink here. Farmhouse sinks are very popular and obviously have a little bit of wear and tear to them. So this is a really cool concept to give you that feel, but also is easy maintenance. One other thing too that I like to mention about what makes herring so unique are the little details. So when Herring was building this home, they had these floating shelves installed and you can't really see it from afar, but they have these really cool LED strips in here that they actually hand cut and did on site. So it's little details like that that you just don't get elsewhere. And it's just obviously to the craftsmanship of the home. So Andre's cooking too on a gas stove. This is a six burner cafe, really popular right now. They've got a ton of really cool colors. Everything just kind of blends beautifully. You could have two or three chefs in the kitchen cooking at one time. Yeah, but you plenty don't find of space. that in most homes. What are you doing for Valentine's Day, Caitlin? Um, we are actually going to the beach. I'm super excited. So hopefully Bryce will make me a dinner like this. I mean, hopefully he watches this video. Well, if he needs some tips, tell him to call me. I will. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, actually, I'm going to spend the weekend with my beautiful 11-year-old sweetheart, my daughter. So I'm really excited. And we're going to do something special, too. We're going to make homemade pizza. Oh, I love that. Anything I can help you with? Uh, I'll tell you what you could do if you wouldn't mind pouring us a glass of wine. Absolutely. Sir, chef first. Here's your glass. Oh, yes. As always, cheers. And this is the final product. Oh my gosh. Here's to you. Cheers. Looks so good. Wow. So good. So good. There you are, guys. Thank you for joining us today. We'll try to do this again soon. Happy Valentine's Day. See y'all. Can you smell that? Can you smell it? 
I can. Just call Caitlin, her out. would you mind bringing me something, dear? You might have to do that again because I yelled. Oh. I gotta stir my grits in here. <laughs>